After the celebrations, reality is about to set in for number 10 Downing Street's newest resident. Liz Truss takes office as inflation in the UK hits a 40-year high. Prices rose 5.5 percent in January to over 10 percent in July of this year, exceeding inflation in the Eurozone and in the United States during the same period. After Brexit and the coronavirus pandemic, the war in Ukraine sent prices soaring across the United Kingdom, particularly in the food and energy sectors. In April, the costs of gas and electricity rose a whopping 54 percent. And with that number expected to hit 80 percent by October, many are worried the worst of the effects are yet to come for the country's poorest families, fears Truss has vowed to address. I will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow our economy. I will deliver on the energy crisis, dealing with people's energy bills, but also dealing with the long-term issues we have on energy supply. According to Bloomberg, Truss's government plans to freeze energy bills in the UK, a measure that could cost up to £130 billion over the next 18 months, though just how it will be financed remains unclear. The new prime minister still insists she'll cut taxes, also promising to scrap a planned tax hike on corporations and to reverse last April's increase in national insurance contributions. For her critics, though, it's a dangerous risk to take, especially as the United Kingdom's debt skyrocketed during the COVID-19 pandemic, with the country now teetering on the verge of a lengthy recession.